Student life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? <laughs> you guys join this content. Don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> Back at the best place ever, Olive Garden. <laughs> On today's menu, okay, last time I got Olive Garden, guys, a lot of you guys were tripping out and telling me that I've missed out because I didn't get the salad. We got two sides or two jumbo size of their salad. You guys are just raving about the salad, so I'm pretty pumped just to try the salad. I got their side soup. Looks like a chili base, yeah. It looks like a chili base minestrone soup here. First entree I got, Taste of Italy. It looks a little smaller than before. Maybe they're just downsizing because I don't know, <laughs> but it looks legit. Look at the lasagna, guys. That lasagna is tiny. Remember, remember the time I had lasagna? It was like this big. You know what? You know what? I ain't even mad, guys. I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad, guys. There's lasagna in there already, right? <laughs> Next, I got. I think this is their new menu. It's their gnocchi with chicken or stuffed gnocchi with chicken and it looks bombs guys such a small portion but you know what i ain't even mad guys at least i got the gnocchi and cheese right <laughs> lastly i got what is this called again chicken parma no not chicken parmesan eggplant parmesan so this looks legit right here so i'm pumped to just try this all i feel like some of you guys are telling me to start off with the salad first but i'm not feeling the salad right now i'm feeling the soup guys this is their minestrone i think it is their minestrone Minestrone meat stew, so it's like a chili, guys. Take the first bite of this. Quick time, guys. I'm starving. I just got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Mm hmm. Tastes exactly like a chili. With pasta in it. Mm hmm. It's good. And it's hot. It's hot outside and it's hot inside this car here. I'm eating a hot soup. Mm hmm. Delicious. This is what I want to try next. Their eggplant parmesan. I never made eggplant parmesan ever before but I can guess what it may taste like. It can taste sweet, breaded coated. It's just like a chicken parmesan, but eggplant, right? I don't know why I'm trying to explain it, but I'm gonna get a little noodles. Quick time, guys. That's got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. Now they're eggplant parmesan. That's got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Just like the chicken parmesan. But with eggplant. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say vegan friendly. But it has all that good cheese on there though. If I had to choose eggplant versus the chicken, I have to go with the chicken. Don't get me wrong, this is still delicious. But I'd rather have a chicken cutlet rather than an eggplant. Maybe both. Maybe both. <laughs> but if I had to choose, mm -hmm. the chicken cutlet for sure. Here's a question to Olive Garden. Do you guys bread your own eggplant or does it come pre-breaded already? I wanna say it does come pre-breaded already. 
Why am I saying that? Because having fresh eggplant laying around costs more money. Or unless this dish is very popular and they just bread it right on the spot. But knowing a restaurant like this or a chain restaurant, I think they buy it pre-made already or pre-battered already. Save more money, right? <laughs> so this is what I wanted to try, guys. Their gnocchi. I never had fresh good gnocchi ever before, but this one's stuffed with uh, cheese and all that goodness. So take the first bite of this. Quick time, guys. Got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Mmm. <laughs> all right. This is legit. These gnocchi here taste like pillows of goodness. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Pillows of goodness. It's stuffed with a very creamy cheese in the middle. Mm-hmm. Maybe it is a good thing to just give this much of a portion because it's getting really, uh, well, it's really rich. Next, I know this is gonna be good already. The taste of Italy. So we got the Alfredo pasta. So the sauce is a little dry, maybe because it's my fault because I just left it there. Guys, it has got it. Nice, I'm pumped for this. <laughs> Who's hating on Olive Garden? <laughs> There's no reason for you to hate on Olive Garden. I want to say they make classic Italian-American dishes. Mm. All right, their lasagna. Their lasagna this day looks a little weak, but I'm still happy that I got lasagna. <laughs> nice, I'm pumped for this. I would say out of all the lasagna is legit. Their lasagna. Incredible. All right. Here's their chicken cutlet. Nice cut. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Their chicken parm is legit. I'm still a little iffy or a little upset about the portion size, but. I'm so happy that I still got some food. <laughs> chicken parm over egg parm any day I can't even hate on egg parm ever do that you just hate a dish or not hate a dish just just don't like a dish because it's the first time you ever tried a dish but it's their spin and take on it but you never tried somebody's else egg plant parm for someone to hate something is very close-minded yeah you gotta try everybody's twist and take on it. That kind of crushes me though. Like when I'm thinking about it, it's like, if I made something and you started hating, just like, if I, let's say for instance, I made New Zealand mussels. I, I love New Zealand mussels. Maybe one day I made New Zealand mussels for you guys. And you guys just started hating New Zealand mussels because of your experience of it. Maybe the next chef or ne next cook can do a better New Zealand mussels than me. So you gotta open your mind up and never close your mind up to all this beautiful food, guys. I'll be crushed 
I'd be pretty crushed, guys, if I made New Zealand mussels and you guys just hated New Zealand mussels after that. <laughs> I'll be crushed because New Zealand mussels are delicious. Let's take a break and have a breadstick. So, this is Olive Garden's breadstick. It has a light thin coat of, I want to say honey garlic, not honey garlic, garlic butter on it. It's not too soaked, it's not too light, it's not too heavy, but take the first bite of this. Quick time, guys. Nice. Pop for this. Mmm. It's kind of weird, guys. Weird in the sense of someone's parked right in front of me. <laughs> and just watching me eat. Like, this parking spot is like, you park this way, and there's a car parked like right here, just facing me. Maybe they want a free show. Hmm. Breadsticks is just breadsticks. It tastes like bread with the Hindu garlic and butter. I went to a buffet the other day. The most saltiest food ever in my life. I had to keep asking the waitress for water every second. <laughs> Everything I ate was very salty. But Maybe that's their trick, right? Fill you up with water and just have bits and pieces of their food there. Hmm? It's a good breadstick. Saving the best for last. You guys, a lot of you guys actually raved about Olive Garden salad. So comes the croutons. I like the little compartment they have here for their salad. So sauce, their house sauce, house sauce, house salad sauce. All I'm gonna do, pop that open, take that sauce, pour it on. So this sauce kind of just smells or kind of looks and smells like a nice vinaigrette. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and just toss their crouton in. And let's see how delicious this is. You guys are raving about this. A lot of you guys have been raving about this. Olive Garden salad. Does it live up to the hype, guys? Take the first bite of this, Olive Garden salad. It's got it, nice. I'm pumped for this. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you It tastes like any other normal salad with the vinaigrette guys Mm-hmm It's a good salad, I ain't gonna lie. But why was it raved so high? Hmm? Where's that jazz you guys were telling me about? <laughs> no hating, guys. It's a great salad. But it's just a salad. Ever see people just take big bites of something? Then apologize after, I guess. It's just weird of me. 
but they're always just like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Got to give a shout out to, I believe her name was Noah. Shout out to you, Noah, who's working there and watches my videos. So I should have shouted you out in the beginning, but my mind wasn't thinking. So Noah, I think it's Noah. I apologize, forgot the name too. Thank you so much for supporting me. The food is awesome. Mm, 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 mm. It's just a nice short one today, guys. Just taking a break from the Goku feast yesterday and be back at it again tomorrow, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your Food Life's Beautiful Thing shirts or a bomb one. Like, share this. Peace out.